Hi guys, Steph here. Now, recently I came across these two pens um, and they came from the, well, from the same location if you like, so a little bit unusual and, well, not only unusual, but also I have a little bit of a dilemma. And my dilemma is, do I restore them or do I not? Now, most of the pens that we find out there in a while, they may have issues with them, they may be in a rather sorry state or whatever, and yes, we restore them, and then we find new homes for the pens. Now, these two pens here, as I say, there's a little bit of a dilemma. Before I find a new home for them, um, I'm asking the question, do I restore them or do I not? And the reason being, let's show you. First of all, um, as you can see, they both come in the original box. So, you know, to find two pens with the original boxes, yeah, maybe, maybe unusual, maybe not. But let's take a look at the, the first pen. And again, in the original Parker box. And what we have here, let's pop that on top like that is a lovely Parker AF Dufold fountain pen. Okay, yes, I've shown you these pens before, but what is different about this one? Well, if I sort of turn it round, there we go. We've actually still got the original stickers on the pen. Now, if I bring it a bit closer, Okay, you can see the bottom sticker there, it has a letter, I think it's B, and again that would indicate it has a broad nib. And let's bring it a little bit closer there for you, to show you the sticker to the top there. You can see it says Parker Do Fold, um, it's also got the original price. And if I just bring it a little bit closer again, like so, Again, the stick is actually hiding it, but you can actually see it's got the lovely clear barrel imprint. Again, telling us it's a Parker Dufault made in England. Um, and I'm hoping you can actually see to the right there, it has the number one, which is the date number, which indicates to me, well, it's made around, I believe, 1951. Um, the reason I'm dating it to 51, um, they brought out the Parker AF Dufalls, or Parker did, around about 1948. Um, and they went right through to, I think, about around about 1953. So, I'm dating the pen to 1951. I've shown you these pens before, so very briefly, you can see it's got the chevron, quite a wide chevron band. The typical Parker clip to the top with a jewel there. Okay, and as we said earlier, this one is what they term as the AF, which means if we take the blind cap off, you can see it's got the aluminium filler. So let's pop that back on like so. Okay, let's unscrew the cap. Okay, let's show you. You can see the section, very typical of a Parker section. And slight different on this one, most of my videos for the restored pens, you will see that the nib is lovely and shiny. Now, one of the things that, sort of, maybe not just Parker, but pen manufacturers, I believe they actually put some sort of, I don't know, maybe a light grease or something on the nibs. So you can see it's quite dull, because I believe it still has the original coating to the nib. So let's bring it a little bit closer. So I'm hoping you can read the the, the imprint there. It says Parker Dufold 14 carat pen N being for New Haven. Okay, for you people that don't know, New Haven being where the Parker factory was. So there we have it. Okay. So Let's pop the cap back on. So the question is, do I restore it? As I said, very unusual. We've got the original stickers on the pen there. 
In my opinion, it's what we term as new old stock. I don't believe it's ever been inked. So, again, does it get restored? Do we remove the stickers? Do we leave the stickers? Do we leave that for the new, for the new owner to decide upon? Ah, I don't know. So, let's pop that back in the box. So that's the Parker AF Do Fold. And if we open this particular pen, let's take it out. And what we have here is a gorgeous green Parker Victory fountain pen. Some people call it the Parker Victory Do Fold fountain pen. Incidentally, one thing I've just missed, the size of the uh, AF Do Fold. It's 131 millimeters capped around the diameter of the barrel around about 12 millimeters in diameter the size of this particular pen from the top of the cap to the end of the barrel 134 millimeters capped and around the barrel it's a nice 11 millimeters in diameter and once again do I restore it well one of the reasons I'm umming and ahhing is because if I turn it round, look at that. It's still got nice and clear Parker Victory F for a fine nib. And it's even got the price, I believe that being 30 shillings and 11 pence in old money. Lovely pen, a rather narrow cap band, chevron cap band there. Again, we've got the Parker arrow clip with a jewel to the very top there. Also, if I actually show you the, the barrel imprint, you can see it says Parker Victory, registered trademark, made in England, and I'm hopefully you can see it to the end there, it's got the number three, which indicates I'm dating the pen to around about 1953. They brought these pens out between, I believe, sort of late 1940s to 1960s. But clearly, as you can see by the number three, I'm dating it 1953. Now, once again, if we take the cap off, if we bring you the nib to the close-up, let's give you a nice close-up. Again, you can see it's rather dull because, as I said earlier... I believe they may have had some sort of a grease or something applied to them. But on this particular nib, you can see it says Parker Do Fold 14K Pen N, and again the N standing for New Haven. Okay. Incidentally, a little bit different. Sometimes you find these pens with the sort of the number 10 junior nib. Um, this one, as it says, it says the Parker Do Fold because in some cases, as we said, the Parker Victory is also new, known as the Parker Victory Do Fold fountain pen. Let's unscrew the barrel. And for you that know or don't know, you can see it's got the aerometric type filler now on these pens. It's got the, the filling instructions on the sack protector there but the main thing look at that nice and clean and in my opinion in original condition still nice and pliable okay so as you can see in my opinion once again the pen has never been inked okay in fact you may sort of notice I'm holding the pen so I don't actually maybe smudge or remove the chalk marks there but again the reason as I said earlier do I restore them well in, in reality the pen does not need restoring because it's in well as we said new old stock so it's like as if it's just come out of the shop but we've got the chalk marks as we said so do you remove the chalk marks? Do we polish it? In my opinion, no. Um, as I say, we're going to find new homes for these pens. Um, this pen, 
in some cases th there's people out there that actually collect pens and there's people that collect and use pens I think this is a collector's pen to well they'd actually put it in their collection and keep the chalk marks there because it gives it a little bit of history so let's pop the cap back on or the box back on so the question is do I restore although in reality they don't need restoring because they're in as I say as if they've just come out of the shop but a question for you people would I would you restore it would you not do you prefer pens with the original stickers the original chalk marks or not why not leave a comment below give me your thoughts so what we'll do in my opinion I'm going to leave them quite simply as I found them like they are here and we'll simply find a new home for them so let us know what your thoughts are don't be shy leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe and last but not least I know I say it but if you possibly can down below please support my work but for now I'll just say bye bye for now